it will be a little different video. Normally I just make my arts and crafts, but we're gonna buy my actual job job, which is CrossFit. And we're gonna be building, let me see, there you go. We're gonna be building the, some boxes. It's 20 inches. It's 22 at the bottom wide, and it's 17 and a half at the top, so it slants by a few inches. If I was to build this one square, I'd build it probably 20, 22 by 22 by 20 height. But I'm going to be building a 16 inch box over there, just because I have a bunch of 12 inch and 20 inch boxes at the gym, but I don't have any 16. So I'm going to build that first. But it ain't. it's a little over half inch. I'm going to make the top out of three quarters so it'll be more solid and all the sides will be reinforced with two by fours. You'll see that later. So we, if we're going to make it 16. We're going to also have an inch and a quarter, inch and a half difference. So it's going to be 14 and a half. So we're going to kind of... Now I do have a circular saw. But it's already set up, I don't know if you can tell, but it's set up at an angle. For this land, it's 15 degree angle, so... And I do everything pretty much with a jigsaw already anyways. So we're just going to make the whole box with a jigsaw just to see if it can be done. And see how straight my lines will be. Seems pretty straight. The other reason I want to do jigsaw, it doesn't create as many rip-offs or whatever the... And the pieces coming up as the other saw. And also it doesn't shoot stuff into my eyeballs, which is kind of welcome change, because that thing just, I get all kinds of stuff in my eyes, so let's do that. Alright, so since this box is going to be 16 inch tall, which is not really that tall at all, uh, I don't want to make it square, it's a little easier to carry when the box is more, I guess, rectangular, I think it's called here. So, we're going to make one side, I think, like 18 inches, and the other side, let's make 14 and with the addition of the width, it'll end up being 15 tall. So I think that's a good width. Of the normal box, it has the pocket screws in there. I don't have one of these jigs, and I don't really like like furniture making. I did put these rubber pieces inside, so this way when the box is stacked, they don't get stuck to each other as much. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna not do that. We're gonna make something a lot easier. We're just gonna do a two by four and build it all. So let's, let's show you the Russian Floridian way. Orbital sender on all this stuff, but it's pretty easy. It's just zzzz, you can just get all the corners done. You can hear me, but all sanded. We can now put it all together, and I can go to Home Depot and buy whatever fancy screws or deck screws or something like this. I just got these, some drywall screws or whatever. I've built boxes before. I'm pretty sure that's what I use, and they will fine. I'm gonna test this on myself first, and I'm just gonna put a few extra ones on this if needed. But I mean. This is the Russian way of building stuff. It'll work great. So let's make it happen. We're not going to be all fancy and pretentious. But that's basically all we're going to do. You don't see the guy on the space station getting all fancy with what he got. He just makes it happen so that no one dies. That's what we're going here. And once I build the whole box, I'm going to add the extra screws everywhere. I just want to build everything, make sure it's all square before I put any extra reinforcement screws anywhere. So The one thing that we don't want to do is run the screw right here, on this side, where the other one is, if this one's right here, we want to offset them a little bit. So that's the only thing to really watch out for. And I don't pre-drill any holes, I just don't care that much. I'm not a furniture maker. And the other reason too, I've built this kind of stuff already, and it worked out fine. But this will give us all the support we need, the 2x4s, so the 
box itself is not as crucial. You can see the almost half an inch or maybe more gap. But we're gonna negotiate with it a little bit. What I want to do is, before I start doing the holes in the side, I want to show a couple options how to make the hand holds for the side. So, the easiest way would probably be if you have one of these, whatever they're called, the big drill bit hole thingies. So, cut it. So, you got your two holes. And then you can, if you got a jigsaw, just start from kind of the edge. Boom. You got your hole. So that's not too terrible. That works. That's an option, option one. So another option is we can do, you can do the same thing like square and do it, you know. Um, let's say we want to do a square one if we don't have that big hole thingy. So you got a normal drill bit so we can go like this. fancy. We can go like this. So you get the idea, we just get like a square cut out. And we don't technically need any of that at all. So if I wanted to draw like a sausage shape, I think, something like that. That. Especially if you have a small blade. So I'm being a little sloppy here, but you get the idea. So let's go ahead and do it. But do it all properly too. Don't be janky with it. You know, make it nice. Bunch of noise behind me. But I'm going to use this remote to my stereo here as my template. We're going to offset it. Right there. Any extra screws yet, but let's test it. Real solid. I'm gonna only put a couple more screws in. The handles are pretty comfy.